Hello student. Today we'll see programming on serial transmit. What are the steps are involving serially transmit data? The TXST register is loaded with a count which indicates synchronous mode. A synchronous mode with 8 bit data frame, low baud rate, and transmit enable. We have to assign a synchronous mode and 8 bit data frame in TXSTA register configuration. Make TX pin of port C and output for the data to come out of the peak. TX pin is assigned, TX and RX pins are assigned on port C. On port C, 6th and 7th pins are assigned for the TX and RX respectively. So we have to make as output by clearing that pin. The SPBRG is loaded with the one of the value to set the baud rate for the serial data transfer. We in earlier lecture we have seen how to calculate the uh, count to select the baud rate required desired baud rate. So that count we have to load into the SPBRG register. Then SPEN bits in RCST register is high to enable the serial port of the PK team. SPEN is one bit from RCST, we have to make it high. It is seventh bit. It is serially seri start a serial communication. Then character uh, character byte to transmitted serially is written into TXCREG register. We know we cannot directly transmit any data through TXP. So to send data serially, we have to first that store the data into TXCREG register. Then monitor the TXIF bit of PIR register to make sure the URT is ready for the next byte. The TXIF bit is from the interrupt register PIR1. We have to observe. In timer also we have observed interrupt bit from interrupt register. In serial communication also we have to observe the one flag uh, TXIF. Here PIR, two bits are assigned for the TX and RX interflag, TXIF for the transmit interflag and uh, RCIF for the receive, receive interrupt flag. Uh, calculate the baud rate uh, for the, I uh, calculated count for the 10 MHz crystal frequency with the baud rate 9600. Then what are the count we have to take uh, or configuration value in the TXSTA is uh, we are not using master slave so the zero tx we are not using nine bit transmission we are using eight bit then enable uh, first we have to disable the transmission then sync we are using asynchronous that's why you return a zero unimplemented we are using low baud rate or normal baud rate so that's why it's a zero now trmt is high why because tsr bit is now empty no character is in TXREG register so that's why initially it is high that means it indicates that we have to phase the value into TXRE register then no 9 bit in, uh, 9 bit data is transmission that's why 9th bit is 0 here I have written one program assign a char i because the number of characters we have to take uh, there are nine alphabets in microchip it is a array of character that's why i take an error then txsta loaded with the configuration value spbrg with the baud rate count then now start a, start your serial communication that's why one bit from the txsta txen we have to make it enable the serial transmission is make enable now start serial communication that's why i make this one bit is one now i want to send continuously this data so i have taken y one as a loop and how many characters are there there are nine characters are there so between two words left one space so that space also count as a character here in this instruction, I observe the TXIF 
whether it is high or low if it is low then transmit the data name i first i is equal to 0 it will print it will send m then i is equal to 1 it send i if it is 2 then send c like that it will send one by one i'll explain you see these values are ascii value of m i in our programmer mp lab will observe the ascii value because our microcontroller knows the ascii value so in txre register will observe this ascii value so don't get confused it will send m uh, instead of m it will send 4d instead of i it will send 49 because it knows ascii value in mp lab i have already written one program the same program i have copy paste over here so i'll rebuild it if it show build successful then we'll say debugger mp lab sim now in view watch no symbols add sfrs what are the sfrs are related with tx tx reg already taken better i'll remove this now what are the registers tx reg register add sfr then txsta add sfr then i taken spbrg add then rcsta now we'll observe one by one make it wider first is now it's seen already saying so zero first m c txrg now it's print m txsta 22 y initially what we are given 0 2 because but now this txen will 1 so it txsta 2 2 spvrg here uh, taken decimal value 15 but he knows the x value that's why taken as a 0 f rcsta only one bit is high that's why it's take a 8 0 0 now m print now it will print i 49 ask a value for the i is 49 now it's saying 43 for c 52 for r o with ask a value 4 f then c again 43 h 48 and last 49 i so we can observe the ASCA value whether the program is right or wrong thank you student